Hi friends, welcome back to Liz's Reading Corner, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Liz, and I like books, and today we are doing my first reading vlog. This is going to probably be really awkward for me, I'm probably going to look really awkward, and I'm sorry about that. So we have some very lofty reading goals for this vlog. I am hoping to finish two books, and either start or completely finish the third. They are... two of them are very big. It's going to be interesting. So the first I'm actually reading on the Libby app. Um, it is called Throne of Jade, which is the Temeraire book two um, in the series. It is second of nine books, and I'm on page 210 of 399. So we go back to Temeraire and Lawrence, who are currently fighting with the English government and some Chinese diplomats who so the Chinese once they found out that Temera is actually a celestial dragon want him back and they believe that uh, Lawrence is not good enough for him and that Temera deserves better than what the English are giving him I like I said I'm three quarters of the way through or two thirds I would say of the way through I am loving this book almost as much as the first one um I'm a little bit annoyed with some of the characters in there and just how they don't seem to have a backbone, it's a little bit frustrating, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also reading, and I feel like no one's going to be surprised by this, Empire of the Vampire and Empire of the Damned. I am 100 pages in? 140 pages in to Empire of the Vampire. I, I wanted to reread this before I read Empire of the Damned because it's been a while since I've read this and I loved this book the first time I read it. I'm loving this book just as much reading it the second time and I love that when you reread things you pick up things that you missed the first time around. What I really love, honestly love, about Jay Kristoff's books, or at least the two that I have, are just the little pictures and the little, I don't know what to call them, but like the little quotes I guess at the start of the different parts within the book. Um, I just love it and I love I love his world building so I'm hoping to finish this this is this book is 719 pages so I'm about a ninth of the way through so this will typically take me four days to finish so I usually read maybe even more so I usually read between 100 and 200 pages in a day it depends on what else I have going on I have a couple of assignments that I'm also going to be finishing so this may take a little bit longer to read and then in my infinite wisdom like always because i like to make unobtainable goals apparently i want to finish reading empire of the damned so this is um the second book in the empire of the Va vampire series this has just been released a couple of days ago and i am so excited so excited to read this i can't wait to read it um it is a bigger book and the writing is exactly the same as the small book so it's probably going to take me a couple of days to read this it's not as long though it's only 646 pages so we might be in for a chance but we'll see how we go i'll check back in with you soon so um i'm just going to do a really quick check-in i'm waiting to go in and get my son from school and i tend to read so i have tamara with me and i am up to page 300 so page i'm up to page 300 of 399 um, I'm hoping to get Temeraire finished tonight and part of Empire of the Vampire finished tonight so the next 100 pages or so because I'm only I think 187 pages in and that's like 700 and something pages long so I don't know if I'll get to Empire of the Damned that may end up being its own um, separate reading vlog but I'll at least get Temeraire and Empire of the Vampire finished which is an achievement in itself. Hello, it's bedtime Liz can't talk terribly loud because my little man is just asleep next door or in the room next to me not so little man he's almost seven I don't know when that happens but anyway um so I'm on page 335 of 399 of the Jade Dragon so the second book in the Temeraire series um and then I have right there Empire of the Vampire ready to go I'll probably um get through about 50 pages of that as well tonight and my water my bedside table my bedside table needs to be cleaned up it's full of books and mess and all sorts of things but um i so yeah i will get through the rest of the temeraire book or the jade dragon and i will get through i should get through 50 pages at least of the empire of the vampire book i don't think i'll um 
this week you get three empire dens because I just realized what the date is today and I actually have three three uni assignments due next week so that's they're all they've all been started but they just need to be like tidied up and finished and definitely won't um won't get to empire of the damned this week but i think my next reading vlog is going to be me reading and reacting to <laughs> it's gonna be interesting um empire of the damned i wanted to reread empire of the vampire just because it's been a very long time it's been like i think a year at least if not more or two years i'm sure it's a, a year uh, that I started or I read Empire of the Vampire and so I just wanted to make sure that I refreshed my memory because my memory's not as good as it used to be <laughs> getting old um, and yeah so I will read the rest of this Tamara book and I will update you when I'm done Just finished the Jade Dragon. Oh my god, oh my god, the ending. Well, the ending was amazing. I loved it. I feel like every time I read um, anything from Naomi Novik or Novik, um, the, or at least the Tamara series, I just fall in love with him even more. Um, who needs a book boyfriend when you can have a book dragon? <laughs> I love him. He's so adorable. But anyway, so I loved that. That was that was another five star read. I feel like no one's going to be surprised by that because I really really enjoy the Tamara series but anyway on to Empire of the Vampire So I have spent all day getting uni assignments done. My brain doesn't really want to work right now. Um, I'm about to go to school pickup. It is, I don't know if it'll show, it's very windy, it's very dreary. I'm just happy that it's not swelteringly hot for once. Um, I'm struggling to read Empire of the Vampire. The, the the font the font my brain really doesn't want to work the font is so small it's so uh, it just it's taking a real taking a really long time why do publishers or I don't know who chooses it but why do they why why have such small font I understand that it would make the book longer but just make the book bigger in size like it just compared to Empire of the Damned. How much better would that be? Make it a bit bigger. Make it a bit bigger. Make the font a bit bigger. Make it a bit easier to read. So, because I'm struggling so much with reading the physical book, I'm actually, I've borrowed the ebook from the library because I use 
the Libby app for the library. And um, so I'm going between the physical book and the ebook to see if that helps get through it a bit longer, uh, a bit longer, to get through it a bit quicker <laughs> because it just feels like it's taking a really long time to get through. Like I'm only, I'm still only like 190, 197 pages in. So hopefully, hopefully this will make it a little bit easier. <laughs> So I just finished reading Empire of the Vampire. This is a reread. I read this last year and I loved it the first time I read it. I loved it this time. It was phenomenal. Uh, Gabriel, his backstory or his story, just his, his whole story, it gets me every time. It makes me so sad. Just the things that he had to go through and finding out his heritage and it just, it's, I'm trying to be spoiler free for those who haven't already read it, but if you enjoy supernatural sort of stories, if you like vampires, they're not vampires in the like True Blood or Twilight, so well, they are, but they're more, if I'm honest, they're more like Anne Rice's vampires, which I think is why I love this so much, because they, Anne Rice's stories were the first vampires that I had anything to do with or that I had any exposure to, and in fact, her interview with the vampire series was one of the first sort of horror-ish aside from Stephen King, one of the first horror-ish um, stories that I kind of got into. Not that I've ever actually finished reading that series, that's something I probably should do. <laughs> this is just honestly one of the the greatest vampire books I've ever read and hopefully one of the greatest vampire series that I've ever read. So now that I've reread this and I remember everything, I can go ahead and read Empire of the Damned, which has just been released. Um, just a warning to those who find big books intimidating. This is a big book. It is 718 pages. I believe in uh, Empire of the Damned is like 600 and something pages. So both of them are very thick books. I actually had to read this on Kindle because the writing, I'm pretty sure the camera's going to be mirrored, but the writing is very, very tiny. So it's, it's, it was a bit difficult for me to read the physical book. Empire of the Damned is a bit different because the book is actually bigger and the writing is a little bit bigger. But that was the only issue I have with the book. I'm impressed with myself. I got the two books. I got a very thick book read in a week, which is when I'm doing uni stuff, that is pretty, that's a pretty big thing. I don't tend to read a lot when I have assignments due because I spend all of my time obviously doing my assignment. That is the reading vlog. That was my first reading vlog. I'm really really sorry if it was if it was awkward to watch. It was a little bit awkward to film. It's not something that I'm used to. Normally I just sit down and talk to a camera but like I said I'm kind of not wanting to do that anymore because it just feels like content that I'm not interested in watching and I don't want to be producing boring content basically. So I enjoyed both of these books, both of these books were five star reads. I feel like no one is going to be surprised by that because I've said many 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 times just how much I love Tamara, just how much I enjoy J. Kristoff's stories. I am so excited to read Empire of the Damned. I can't wait. That's it for this vlog. Uh, I appreciate you watching, I appreciate you sticking with me through all of these uh, bumps in the road as I change up my content and my videos. Uh, if you have any suggestions for books that you think that I would be interested in or that you want me to read, I, as always, would love to hear. I love hearing all of your suggestions and opinions. Have you read these books? What did you think? If you enjoy my videos, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!